So no college football in Buffalo, but we will see Major League Baseball here and this week. The Toronto Blue Jays play their first game at Salem Field on Tuesday when they host the Miami Marlins. But this is not the first Major League game to be played in Western New York. Jeff Rusak looks at Buffalo's rich big league history. Old Haas Rusak takes the mound for the Buffalo Blues, shakes off the pitch, and he's nowhere near a baseball field. At least in 2020, he isn't. Near the corner of Jefferson and Northland was the site of Federal Field, the home of the last major league game to be played in Buffalo. The Blues took on the Baltimore Terrapins, one of the final matchups in the Federal League. The game was on September 8th, 1915. A pretty good trivia question if you ask us, or if you ask Casa. No idea downtown? You're standing right at the spot. Are you serious? There used to be a baseball field right what? here. What? <laughs> Man, this is <laughs> unbelievable. And it's not just the Blues. In the late 1800s, the Buffalo Bisons played in the National League. They had some serious firepower. They had four Hall of Famers in their prime in that team. Pud Galvin, who was the first pitcher to win 300 games. Uh, Dan Bruthers, who actually won two batting titles, National League batting titles, while playing with the uh, Bisons. Big League Baseball has been in Buffalo one other time since 1915. The game just didn't count in the standings. The Blue Jays squared off against the Indians in 1987 at the Rock Pile. Seven Eyewitness News had a helicopter back then, and helicopters were used to prep the wet field. Present day and the Toronto Blue Jays will take on the Miami Marlins on Tuesday at Salem Field. Only cardboard fans are allowed to attend. Even though fans can't go, it's still a big deal to have Major League Baseball right here in Buffalo. One guarantee this year, old Hoss Rusak will not be pitching. Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.